Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. San Bernardino County Schools are facing some huge budget cuts. And with us now to tell us what that might mean for students is Dr. Gary Thomas. He is the San Bernardino County Superintendent of Schools. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. You have some big challenges ahead of you. Uh, what is the prospect look like right now? Well, uh, you know, before I really talk a little bit about the budget, I uh, wanted to share a little bit of kind of where we've been. Uh, already uh, districts over the past three years have faced about eight billion dollars in cuts statewide. In addition to that, uh, about one out of every five dollars from the pool of money sent to school districts is being deferred into next year. Uh, we also, our dollars are deficited by 19 percent, so districts are only receiving about 80, 80 cents on the dollar of their funds. And when you add all that up, it really does take a pretty big chunk of dollars away from school districts. Recently, so you've had a lot of cuts and now you're looking at more. Recently our state superintendent came out and said that there are close to 200 districts that are in fiscal distress. Mm -hmm. uh, now the legislative analyst has come out and has recommended um, five billion dollars of cuts to schools. This could take us from about districts had planned under the January proposed budget about $350. This could take that up to $850 per student lost per year. So that's a pretty significant jump. So how do you compensate for that? What do you do? Well, I think what uh, you can expect is that you're going to see more people laid off uh, on the support ranks, uh, you know, nurses, librarians, uh, secretaries, uh, custodians, your, your uh, folks that work in the, in the kitchens. Uh, Districts are going to be struggling with uh, additional cuts in the certificated ranks, our teachers, administrators, because they, they have to do a notification on March 15th for those folks. So if they haven't done that yet, they can't do any more than they've already notified. So, so you mentioned cuts earlier, the ones that have come up until this point. Um, how have you survived those cuts? Because I also know that your dropout rate has improved and that your academic performance isn't so bad either. So what effect do you think these further cuts will have on the students? We've made some terrific gains, I think, in, um, in academic performance. Uh, we've had uh, 22 more schools in our, in our county have reached the, uh, the benchmark of 800 on their API. We had 26 schools that have reached the benchmark of 900 in API. Uh, we, we've had continued growth for 12 years now in our county. Uh, and I think this, uh, this, this budget, recent budget development could jeopardize that progress that's being made. You mentioned, too, that we um, have had some improvement on our dropout rate. In, in 06, 07, our dropout rate was 26. Uh, uh, percent, a little over 26 percent, and we've brought that down t now to 21.6 percent. It uh, we we hover over the statewide average of 21.5. The interesting thing, though, is the state. While we're moving in the right direction, the state average has gone from 18.9 last year to 21.5 this year. So we're bucking statewide trends as well. So good good gains are being made both in in both of those arena, but it's it's challenging. Mm -hmm. And uh, these kinds of cuts uh, could potentially challenge and disrupt that, can derail it in many respects. Um, one of the things I have heard that you've been trying to work on is bridging that achievement gap, the gap between the excelling students and those who aren't doing so well. Yes, we are making some progress there. Um, we've had uh, some pretty good growth. Our, our Latino and African American subgroups are actually uh, ahead of statewide averages uh, for subgroups that have met their growth targets. Well, we certainly hope that the, the budget doesn't hit you too bad. I'm sure we'll be checking in you with you for time to come. So Thanks thank you again. Very much. Thanks for tuning in. More HLN next.